Okay, my name is Lucille Lorge, uh, Lucille Tomford Lorge. I was born and raised on Grove Way, uh, very close to the Castro Valley border. I've written a book uh, about eight years ago on the history of Castro Valley, uh, which sold quite well. I co-authored it with uh, Robert Phelps and Devin Weston. Okay, my thoughts about the area that the miniature golf course is now in go back many, many years to about the 1930s, I would say, when that piece of land was used when the circus came in town. After that time, uh, of course, the area was uh, kind of blank for a period of time. And then a Mr. Froberg moved in there who had a kennels and raised collie dogs. And he had a certificate on the wall saying that he had sold the first Lassie to MGM Studios. So the original Lassie dog actually came from Castro Valley. After Mr. Froberg left, had to be like the 50s, a gentleman purchased that piece of property his name was Mr. Payne, and he was a real estate man. His logo was Clean Deals in Dirt. And so he was there for several years until finally the property was purchased uh, by the people that put in the miniature golf course. But when they put in the golf course, of course they were able to knock down the old building quite easily, but Inside the building was a huge walk-in safe because there were no banks in Castor Valley at that time. So Mr. Payne would not only keep his own money in this safe, he also kept the money from many of the businesses that were all along the, what I call Old Town, which is the west end of the boulevard. So he was kind of the local bank and when they knocked the building down, they could not knock the safe down. Of course, it was too large, too heavy. They considered building, bringing in a crane of some type, but when they found out the expense that would entail, they decided when putting up the miniature golf course, they would simply bring in a cement truck and pour a huge amount of cement over the old empty safe and then put the dragon heads in it so that it looked like a volcano with the dragons coming out of it. It's remained that way of course for many years. I stood across the street at our business when they were trying to get that safe out. Wish I had taken pictures and to my knowledge there is absolutely nothing left in the safe. I'm sure he would not have left a time capsule <laughs> in that safe. It was completely empty when the safe was covered over with the concrete.